Welcome back to Engineering Graphics class. Today's session we will discuss the projection of planes, uh, problem number two. The question is given like this: An equilateral triangular lamina of 25 mm sides lies on one of its sides on HP. The lamina makes 45 degree uh, with HP, and one of its median is inclined at 40 degree to VP. Draw its projections. Okay, we got the question on triangle, and uh, first we will uh, just note down the the, uh, the data which is required. The sides they given, the shape of the plane they given triangle, and it's having 25 mm sides length, and the lamina inclination, that is the surface or lamina inclination, we can take. So this is inclined to HP at 45 degree, 45 degree to HP. And <clears throat> one more thing they given: the median is inclined 40 degree with VP. The median is inclined 40 degree with VP. Okay. So let me discuss this uh, how it should be done. The first we will draw uh, draw the x y line and VP HP and all the planes problems we are solving in the first quadrant. So that's why VP will come above x y line and HP will come below x y line. Okay. So as you know the problem will be solved in the three steps. The first step we will uh, see the resting condition. And second step we will check the surface inclination and the last step we will see the, the edge inclination or median inclination we are going to check it out. Okay, now they given the problem, uh, the triangle, equal triangle lamina, it is resting on HP or lies on HP on of its sides. Okay, sides is resting, so that's why we need to make the side on the left side, like this, the initial stage. And the front view uh, will be straight line and top view will be look like a triangle. And the front view, it will be look like a straight line. And that, that will fall on the x y line. Okay, that is the first step we will finish. And coming to the second step, so they give a surface inclination. The surface inclination is a uh, or lamina inclination. Surface inclination, or we can say the lamina inclination, both are same. Surface or lamina inclination that is inclined to 45 degree with h v. That's why in second step we need to make. By keeping the resting condition, the edge on the HP, and we need to make this plane, it will make 45 degree with HP. That is the second. The front view, the straight line, whatever we got in the front view, that will be made inclined 45 degree. And the top view, it will be these two edges will be reduced. The length will reduce, and this will be remain because it is parallel to uh, HP only. So that's why it will become remain same, and these two edges will reduce its length. Okay. Now the last step. So the last step, the what they give us, the median is inclined. The median is, this is the median, one of it, the, the triangle we can get the three medians. That means from corner to opposite edge midpoint, what the line we draw, perpendicular line we draw, so that will be median. So here we are getting three medians, so that's why we will take the, the one median which will be uh, kept parallel to x, y line. And now, this median is inclined to VP at 40 degree. Okay. While we inclined, that means we need to draw 40 degree line and this median should be taken and the median will be kept on that 40 degree line like this. But one the doubt, uh, one problem is comes here. In although in, when we make inclination, the length is true length. But when the length is changes from step to the step, we need to find the beta angle. So what happens in the first step, the what we consider the triangle in top view, the median will having the actual length. But in second step, if we incline it, the median length is reduces. So that's why we need to find the beta angle. On that beta angle, we need to place this median. So how to find beta angle, we will discuss it up now. Okay, let me start with the triangle here. The first step, the edge inclination, that means, sorry, resting on the edge they given. So we will take the edge on the left side and the length of this uh, side they given, 25. So we will draw the dimension line and then we will show the 
dimension 25. And to get the remaining, the third corner, take same 25 from these two corners, we will draw the arc and the intersection point will be the third point. Uh, like this, the naming, we can give the naming, this is uh, A and B and here we get to C. And then after finishing this, we need to draw the projection lines to the x, y to get the front view and the front view will be look like a straight line and here we need to be the because b is we need to see from the bottom b is coming first a is second so that's why b dash of a dash and here c dash and next before going to the next we need to draw the median line because the median inclined to vp they gave up so from the c to the opposite end, that is the AB midpoint, we need to draw a perpendicular line. This one we can take it as M, that is the median. Next, now this surface or lamina is inclined to HP at 45 degree. So first mark the resting point, that is B dash of A dash and then measure the 45 degree point and passing through this, I draw a line and this angle should be 45 degree, after that measure this length and take B dash A dash center and draw the arc. So that point will be C dash and then join the line between these two with a visible line. And to get the top view, so draw vertical projection from the front view and here A, A, A dash, we get A here, then B and this will be, we are getting the B and now C and this will be the C and now join all these corners with the visible line and next uh, this will be the median we can take it as M1 ok first actually in a first step now uh, in the last step we need to make this median is inclined so to do that first we will draw the 40 degree line, 40 degree line, uh, they give, because they give an incline, the median is inclined 40 degree. So now, so you see here, initially the first step, the median length, this median length is having some x value, because here C to M. And in second step, the same median, this is having why? Because the length is changes because of the inclination, it will not be same as the first step. That means here the first uh, median length, it is a power, I have not taken time action, that's why I am just in the denoting with the x and y. So once you do with the actual dimension, you will get the value, write down that value and with the same value, you can use it here. In the first step, it is having some x value and the second step, it is having y because the length is changes. Once the length is changes, we need to find the beta angle. We can't place the same median with the given inclinations. So how to find the beta angle? The first step to get the beta angle, so take with common center because we need to draw the two arcs. So that's why we need to make the one common center. We can take it anywhere on this line. So for I will take it over here because it will not make any confusions. So on the intersection of this line, I am taking the common center. Then measure the actual median. That is the first step median length. That is the x value measure this value C to M and take the common center as a center and draw the arc on the 40 degree line. I am repeating in the first step uh, measure the actual median that is C to M take the center and draw the arc. After drawing the arc the intersection point you draw the locus line. The locus line should be parallel to X Y line. Now next second step measure the apparent median that is C to M1 that is y distance what we have taken here c to m1 you take it and now draw the arc by taking same center draw the arc on the draw the arc on the the locus line what we drawn here the locus line we need to draw that arc on the locus line by taking the apparent median line and now so from the center to this intersection point draw a line and this will be the beta angle we will find out later. So after finishing this you can check it how much it comes that is the beta angle. 
now we got the beta angle now on this beta angle this median line this median line should be placed that is c m1 should be come here so that's why first you can mark the c over here and then c to m1 you measure it take the c center and draw the arc and we will get the m1 now on the m1 we will draw perpendicular line either side because your a and b you know uh, line of this perpendicular line so that's why you draw it and m to b measure it take a center and draw the arc we will get the b now m1 to a you measure it draw the arc we will get the a now join it a to a to c a to b and b to c so like this so now finally we made it this median inclination that is the median c m1 what they given that the median is inclined to be here 40 degree because uh, this length is changes so that why we found the beta angle now after that uh, draw the projection to get the final front view from the a so a dash is on the xy line so you can draw the projection up to you and get the a dash and then b b dash is also on the xy line so draw up to you and get the b dash and now c c dash and then join all these points a dash to b dash b dash to c dash and back to a dash okay like this uh, we solved it again i will explain the sequence wise in a first step first sequence here they give on the resting on sides one of its sides lying on hp so we take on the edge condition by take, taking the edge on the left side and then we got the front view of it and in the other they give on the laminar inclination or surface inclination 45 degree to hp so we made the lamina 45 degree to hp and then we got the the top view of it and next they give on the median inclination but here the median is initial step is having the value x and in second step though it is reduced so that's why we need to find the beta angle the first we found the beta angle by taking the actual uh, median length and draw the arc then locus line and then upper end median length and draw the arc on the locus line and then join the line and get the beta angle on the beta angle place this median and the last draw the projection lines and get the final front view Okay, like the problem is solved.